Every year, more than 30,000 people die in America from gun violence. Recently, there has been a series of high-profile massacres that we all know about, including the tragic shooting in Newtown, Connecticut. They have sparked a vigorous national conversation about designing new gun laws. After Newtown, people said, okay, I guess we have to have the discussion now. But the Second Amendment kept on coming up in the oddest places. I think the great irony in all this is if you apply the kind of modern gun rights model of the Second Amendment backward to the American Revolution, we would have lost the war. If you look at the way the word militia was understood around the time of the framing, and actually remains a legal definition of the term, although not a common lay definition, militia meant the armed adult, at the time male citizenry, the times being what they were, and well-regulated meant basically well-functioning, well-trained. But we don't have a well-regulated militia now. We don't have any kind of militia now. The political influence, if you will, of the NRA is not a result of, uh, of our lobbyists and our operation here in Washington. It's certainly not a result of whatever I might say. It's a result of the fact that over the years, we have represented people from both parties, and the one thing that they have demonstrated over time is that when they perceive their rights to be threatened, they will vote. My understanding of the gun laws in Connecticut is that they are on the uh, right side of the bell curve. They're, they're fr fairly strict. And that uh, the laws were adhered to uh, by the owner of the guns here. She had a gun safe, and it was a, it was a lawful weapon. Um, and so uh, if your proposal would not have prevented what you're trying to address even with hindsight, then it seems to me to be a knee-jerk uh, reaction. The fact that we couldn't pass universal background checks is quite astonishing to me and to the rest of the world. Uh, the idea of why anyone would not want someone to have a background check before they purchase a firearm, very confusing. So when you actually look at does an assault weapons ban work, does limiting magazine capacity work, well, California has those things, and we still have the same rate of about 45 rifle murders per year. We still have the lawless, not following magazine capacity bans, these are not things that actually work. Some people believe that the way to stop violence in schools is giving every teacher, every janitor a gun. I'm not one of those people. I don't think the, 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 the solution to violence in schools is to give more people in schools guns. Today in California, it is easier to buy bullets than it is to buy cigarettes, alcohol, or certain cough medicines or that it, uh, contains pseudofedrin. Bullets are what makes a gun deadly. I think that, uh, that our opponents hope this time is different in the sense that they hope that they can use, in, use emotion to, to uh, achieve uh, an anti-firearms agenda that they haven't been able to achieve in the past. But my suspicion, and I've always operated uh, not just in my current incarnation, but in previous incarnations, on the assumption that people are smarter than politicians and that common sense ultimately prevails.